Here's the table. It's a table for two. And the beauty of it is, is it's showing us right now what our relationship with God is all about. He didn't say, I'm going to prepare a table before you and put a manual on it. Just read it. He said, no, I'm going to put a table there for us. And when he said table, that meant something to the mind of the person in the time of the 23rd Psalm. Because they lived in an arid environment. They lived in a desert climate. And so a table with food and drink and cool water, these were precious commodities. And to put a spread out for somebody was the ultimate act of hospitality and generosity. So God is showing us he doesn't have a scarcity mentality. He has a generosity mentality. And even when you're surrounded by enemies, I'm going to prepare a table before you. I'm going to put a spread out for you. Now, you're not my enemies, okay, that I'm aware of. And if you are, let me know later. Send me a note. Slip it up onto the table. But you're not my enemies. But for the sake of this message tonight, you're my enemies, okay? You're surrounding me. You're all the bad people in my life. You're all the people out to get me in my life. Anybody got anybody out to get them in their lives? You're all my people, okay? So watch out because I can see you back there. These are my enemies. So he says, you're surrounded by pressure, circumstance, situation, diagnosis, divorce, family collapse, internal struggles, depression, anxiety, addiction, a relationship that went bad. Somebody's cutting you down. Somebody's spreading rumors about you. Somebody's trying to undermine your best effort. Whatever it is that's pressing in on you, he says, I've prepared a table for you in the presence of your enemies. This, my friends, is what following Jesus is all about. It's about a relationship with him. Everyone in the room may not know all the songs we sang or why. And everyone in the room may not know much about the scripture and why. And everyone in the room may not know much about Jesus and why. But every person in the room knows what this is. Everyone knows what this is. And this is what God is dreaming about for you. Not over here, hey, let's get out of, out of this place, man. Hey, grab a piece of fruit and let's get out of here because that looks hard and difficult and challenging and we don't need any of that. Let's just get over here and get a table over here in my presence. He's going, no. <laughs> Put the table right here. Would you like to sit down? He's like, would you like a cup of cool water? And I say, yes, and I'll serve you one because why wouldn't I? (laughs) The problem is that at the table for two, it's possible that someone else will get to your table. 